what's going on back plugged in again with your boy the profit man so today i wanted to bring you guys this video kind of a public service announcement so people kind of know you know what to be looking for especially for this upcoming end of year what i want to talk about today were the worst killers per attribute okay so how we're pretty much going to go ahead and look at this is go straight to our album right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to review every attribute and just kind of browse through their best killers at each attribute right so first of all we'll take a look at sorry per killer because that's you know one of the most prominent in the game so as i'm already looking at technique sorry per killer is pretty damn stacked we have this Udiu. This character trivializes inheritance trial. He's a very good, uh, the best farming character for technique by far. You also have the Arena Okiora. Artworks Ichigo, who is an absolute god tier character. And probably the best overall technique character in the game right now. As far as auto characters, you have Nimaya, who is still pretty much holding up well. This Kusaka is a very great character. Uryu is okay, I guess. Ginzuru is solid. But then beyond that, everything just falls off a cliff. This Aizen actually still does stand up, especially with his resurrection. But so Technique Sword for Killer is nicely represented. You have at least, you know, three, four characters at the top. A couple older characters that are going to fill in uh, the meta right so let's look at the heart sorry per killer sixth anniversary aizen nini those are the two characters that stand out right off the top you still have the auto or like tokinata heart kenny is still solid and um, this grim is still really good as well she's okay i mean um definitely at least a current unit but she's lacking havoc though so that's kind of a big thing in my personal opinion but heart sorry per killers not the best right now but they're definitely still very much strongly represented because nini is a super potion character and then six anniversary Aizen is a straight up god tier character so power serper killer just has always been just insanely laced even starting from spirit society byakia camp pharaoh or shinji ikone lilibaro bruno safui kisuke and then the safui kenpachi yeah, Kenny, Bruno, and Kisuke are pretty much the best three characters here for sure. Lil B is still solid. Hikone is still good. So Shinji and then so just Biaki pretty much. Just because their kits are so great. Take a look at Speed. Red 2 is actually a very great character. 5th anniversary Biaki and Tenjiro and Bambi are pretty much carrying it. These characters are all over two years old. You can kind of see Speed Surper needs uh, some work at this current point. But um, yeah, Red Su, Fitani Biak, and then Tenjiro. I also wanted to say that this movie Rookie is actually very solid. I just forgot to mention her upon the initial look. So don't take her for granted. She's actually pretty solid. Um, you can even say Bambi yet are pretty much carrying this as well. But as you can see, this definitely needs some love. Speed Soul Reaper Killer definitely needs some love right now. 7th Anniversary Ichigo, absolute god tier unit. Mine needed some help so bad, bro. This Shunsui solid character. His second strong attack really isn't that great in my personal opinion. It is a tracking vortex, but it has no initial range, meaning you're just going to be waiting on the damage, waiting for that really slow vortex to do any damage for real. I'm Noel and Daddy Ichigo still hold up very, very well, especially even to this day and age. Noel has insanely high magnification, still higher than that of Daddy Ichigo and still higher than a lot of characters to this day. Um, she doesn't have any status summits, but she does have the same kit as Daddy Ichigo, but better cooldown on her second strong attack. While Daddy Ichigo, he does have the boost, making him like a very, very useful character in Guild Quest. So, and he has Marauder as well. So, yeah, th these two characters as well as 7th Anniversary Ichigo are carrying it very hard. So we did just get 7th Anniversary Ichigo who pretty much is holding it down real, real tough. Alright, so we'll take a look at Hollow Killer next. Let's just go from uh, Mind Hollow Killer. So we have this Nellio. She's a decent character. Havoc, 750 distant AoE on her first and second strong attack. She's okay. She's okay. She's a super potion character. This Toshiro is great for farming as he has uh, standard link slots and droplet skill. And this Koga is still like a top five mind hollow killer. That is actually kind of sad. This Uruka is good for IT when she has killer, but she, she's not a potion character. So speed hollow killer is pretty damn good, especially with this um, new speed Okiora. This guy is an absolute tank. One of the best characters in the entire game. Asajiro is okay. He's solid. He could have been a lot better, but just what we have, he's solid. He's going to get the job done. 
Noel, I do think is definitely better than Azashiro weakening um, on top of just the fact that her soul bomb just out damages his. Um, and she's a super potion, the standard potion character. Jushiro is absolutely carrying the auto load. So that's very good if you want to use a flurry character for a technique, hollow killer farming, Jushiro can do that. This Ishin still uh, holds up, so does 5th anniversary Byakia. So there are definitely some really good speed hollow killers. Chigakuni Yamamoto, the best character in the game right now. Kokuto is very solid. This Yodoichi is very good as well. She's really good. I do like this character a lot. 5th anniversary Ichigo, very powerful too. So um, not bad here. This Nimu is still okay. Magoto actually isn't that bad, but comparatively to today's standard stats and skills, like that man, no, absolutely not. So he does have weakening and drain on everything. So that's really good actually. So um, this, this definitely should be a usable character as well. And yeah, Yoruichi, Fitani Ichigo, Yamamoto, Kokuto, the Shinji, who's a flurry character, flurry character, flurry character. This is one of the worst attribute and killers in the entire game right now, period, point blank. This is actually low key pathetic, bro. We're still talking about Mugetsu as the best heart hollow killer. Lisa, I guess would be better than Mugetsu. This is actually sad. This is sad. This is one of the reasons why I made this video because we have gaps in certain killers like this. This is horrible. Like this is a three, four year old character, three, four year old character. So we definitely need an updated heart hollow killer. We have Roka who's pretty good. Retsu who's one of the best characters in the game, especially for technique. This Nimu is a god tier character as well. This Grimjaw is very good too. Ginzudu is solid. Ruki is solid. So um, Retsu is holding this down, carrying this very hard. So is Roka. Roka and Retsu are pretty good. Obviously I'm gonna put Retsu over Roka any day, even though uh, Roka is definitely more of a support character. Technique Hollow Killer is okay. This Nemu, if you don't have one of those three characters, then it's gonna be pretty rough. This Udio is okay too. He does have Disabler on Killer, so that is uh, pretty good. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the Arankar Killer. All right, so this Kaname is pretty solid, but he didn't get Guard Break. This Aizen is literally one of the best characters in the game. He is the number one auto character in the entire game right now. This Grimjaw is very good. Very, very good. And aside from that, it's looking pretty, pretty sad, bro. Pretty sad. So I would definitely say we're going to need an updated technique around car killer for sure. None of these characters like really scream like overpowered. This is actually kind of, it's actually kind of sad. Uh, the best technique around car killer is by far Flurry Aizen. Nini is okay, but Grimjaw is for sure the best uh, spiritual pressure based character here. And uh, that's, I'm not gonna say that's not saying a lot because he's a really good character, but you need more than just one character just in case a person, you know, wasn't lucky enough to pull this character. So none of these characters I really write home about. I mean, Stark is okay, over three years old. Halibel is decent, over three years old. Nini solid too. All right, yeah, this heart Ichigo is absolutely busted. Basically, the best inheritance trial character in the entire game. It's not even up for debate. If you value inheritance trial more than any other game mode, this would be the best character. Um, personally, though, I value things like guild quest as well as inheritance trial. So um, I definitely think characters like Yamamoto and the speed third anniversary Okiyor are better than this character, just so slightly. But he's one of the basically like one of the best characters in the game. He's the best heart character for sure. Um, Zala Par, he's solid. This Nimu, this Isane is solid as well. So we have three pretty damn good characters to start out. This Odoichi is a god tier character. This Momo is a god tier character uh, in her own regard as well. So you have that. Shuhei is pretty good. He's pretty strong. So is um, Sinjumaru in this Soy Phone is a great flurry character for the uh, attribute and killer. So pretty solid. Um, power and run card killer. So we're looking at. Bruno, God tier character, Fitani Ichigo, Mama Rukia, and Sumsu Nemo. These are all very good characters, but you can kind of see like they're all kind of starting to show the already just a little bit aside from maybe Bruno. So yeah, I would think we're gonna get some kind of an updated power of Ron Car Killer. Akuo Ginjo is awesome, an awesome flurry character. Kind of made an awesome flurry character as well. Obviously the free chat, he's okay, but we're not talking about that. He's a free unit. Yeah, yep, speed of Ron Car Killer. 7th anniversary Udu, a god tier character. Atsushiro, he's a pretty good character as well. Definitely S rank character, in my personal opinion, or um, yeah, S rank character. Mm -hmm. This Udu is okay. Paragon is not very good. He's okay. And 
this Momo is okay too, and this Ruka is only okay for Guild Quest. So yeah, seventh anniversary Udiu carrying this super hard. Azashiro, second best character for this attribute. Baz B is good too. Yeah, Baz B is good. Um, all the other characters, he's a support character. She's kind of a support flurry character. She's a GQ character. I wouldn't really use any of these characters in any difficult content whatsoever. The Mind Around Card Killer. This uh, Super Potion Ukiora, very good character. Seventh anniversary Ichigo, one of the best characters in the entire game. Lunar Rukia, pretty good for the flurry side. And uh, this Safui Shinji, very good unit as well. Giriko, solid. Kisuke is good for autos. I would even still use Candice. She's pretty solid as well. You know, if you need a character with freeze or weaken or any other status element, then Toshiro uh, could definitely sub in for Shinji or Candice. Um, seventh anniversary Ichigo is clearly on a level of his own. And this Okiyar is pretty good as well. Um, I would say, you know, for this killer, he's right underneath the seventh anniversary Ichigo. So finally, we're just going to take a look at the no affiliation killer because no affiliation is um, actually pretty relevant these days. So let's take a look at it. So we have this Gein. We still have Noel holding it down. So Gein, Jackie, Yoifo, Noel. But Noel number one. This Gein's okay. I would say he's number two after Noel. This Rangiku, she's actually pretty solid. If you need her for something like Guild Quest, um, she's pretty solid, no cap. And seventh inning Udiu, Noel holding it down. This Grim Jaw's okay. This Toshiro solid. The Castle White Ichigo is good for autoing, and he is actually very good for autoing as well. Actually, one of the best um, ranged uh, no affiliation killers in the game. Now, Kisuke is okay too. Momo, good for autoing. Nozomi, solid for farming. Soifong, good for autoing. This Toshiro, decent. Yeah, he's pretty decent, but if he's the best power no affiliation killer we have, we definitely need some an updated uh, killer here. So, this definitely needs some work. Kisuke is pretty good. Heart Ichigo, Nini, Masaki, those characters absolutely destroy. So yeah, very strong. The Kisuke is pretty strong too. So that's okay for now. And then Technique, Artworks Ichigo, Nini, Yamamoto. This Yamamoto got overshadowed so hard when he came out. He's actually pretty solid. This Rojero. So he didn't get Havoc. So, you know, definitely nothing to write home about for this character as well. But yeah, so I would say for sure the weakest killers right now are probably definitely Heart Hollow Killer. This is for sure one of the worst killers right now. Mind Hollow Killer does need a little bit of work. I would also say Speed Serper Killer definitely needs some work as well. A couple of the mind attributes are just really, really bad. Like I said, Mind Hollow Killer really needs an updated, very powerful unit. You know, some like 7th Anniversary or Safwi or Thousand Blow or Beyond Bankai, that type of tier. Definitely need someone like that. Um, and those pretty much have been kind of the worst killer. Just so you guys kind of know where each attribute and killer is sitting respectively. Uh, make sure you guys win. Let me know what you guys think about this type of video. If it helps you or not. Does it help you like maybe prioritize? Because at the end of the day, you should be trying to get one of the best characters per attribute and killer of all types. That's one of the main things you need. The focal points to have your account good and versatile in all types of content. So make sure you guys win, man. Let me know if this video helped you out. And let me know your thoughts on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take time. I love y'all. I'm out.